Hi, I'm Chris Halo, and I am a professional audio engineer in NYC. Been doing this about uh, 20 years, and I'm also a music curator and sound expert over at Groover. Now, today's track was almost <laughs> brought to you by Groover. Sort of, it was a little roundabout. I had gotten a pitch from a band called Moons in Retrograde, I believe, and um. This gentleman that we're going to be listening to today, Daniel Thielman, um, was the remixer of that track. And I'll do another video for that track because it's really, really good. But after hearing that track, I went and explored his catalog and I ended up sort of uh, falling in love with some of his other stuff. And uh, today we're going to be listening to the uh, Staring at the Sky edit that he did uh, under his name Daniel Thielman um all right enough talking let's uh let's get into it about this track is uh just the attention to space there's so many little interesting things to listen to and uh they're all in their own space and great ear candy um reminds me a bit of like the ohm electronic maybe older how job um stuff oh man it, I liked the intro to his extended mix better, but I really like this edit version better overall, I guess. Um, but I like how he gets immediately into the beat and you still have all the ear candy um, without having to go through that really long intro. Uh, although it's a really good intro in the other version. You, you should check out both versions, really. Anyway, here we go.
it really reminds me of um yeah home electronic like i feel like you could probably work with craig really well Craig uh joseph huxtable i could see you guys doing something really really interesting and i really it's such a catchy little thing and as you can tell here that the that little vocal section comes in and this is sort of why i I like the intro to the extended version a little better is because it starts off with that. And in this edit, we, we sort of have to wait for it, you know, almost two minutes. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, I did like that instant gratification of hearing it right off the bat and then maybe cutting it off and going off the song. Um, but whatever. It's just a orchestration critique, I guess. I don't know. I love the message. I love the lyrics. I love the performance. Part of me wishes that it was just a tinge louder. And it maybe had a little more representation in the lower mids. Uh, sometimes I, I, sometimes I feel like a lot of these electronic recordings, um, remove the lower mids too much out of a vocal track. And that just, it's kind of where people start feeling the track and not just hearing it or feeling the vocals and not just hearing them. Um, I get why they're mixed this way. This is very a, a typical vocal mix for this style of music. And that's fine. Um, I guess that's just a personal preference. I, I kind of wanted to hear them just a little bit louder. What's there not to love about that? Um, when I listen to it through like my regular speakers, everything sounds fine. I feel like in the headphones, this is my first time listening to the track through headphones. It sounded a little thin. Um, like it, just in general, maybe some of those lower mids weren't there. I don't necessarily think it's a saturation issue. I do hear plenty of saturation and man, there's so much happening. 
so much and everything is changing you, you you don't have the impression of looping or repeating it. Everything evolves all the time. I love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, in a way, that's that's kind of why I decided to start with uh, reviewing this track um, before I hit uh, the Moons in Retrograde. Um, this made me a fan. I, I became a, a really solid fan. Uh, of this artist after uh, checking out his Spotify. So there'll be uh, a link to this track uh, in the description. And if you want to have me nerd out over your track, you can uh, contact me over at groover.com, Halo Skew Entertainment, and I'll be happy to nerd out over your track as well. 